Greetings, this is January 9th. This is a daily meta for that day. I wanted to thank a lot of our viewers for the comments and questions they've been sending in. We're still talking about the introduction to search for nonviolent future because it's in the introduction that uh, we do get into a couple of basics. I want to use an analogy here. Sometimes I've seen colleagues of mine in the law school saying to the first year students in law school that I'm going to get in and change your mind, I'm going to change your way of thinking. Well, in a slightly less drastic way, I think we have to do that to come to grips with nonviolence because we've been so conditioned to think about it in a useless way. We need to reframe the way we approach the question in order to come up with some useful answers. So to start off, I had a quote from a French philosopher who said uh, Jacques Ellul in his name, and he said, this isn't the age of violence, despite appearances. Of course, in his time, it wasn't quite as evident as it is now. This isn't the age of violence so much it is the age of the awareness of violence. I think that's highly significant because I think what it says is that human consciousness has always been evolving. And we know that up to a particular point, slavery seemed absolutely normal. And then something clicked and we saw the horror of enslaving another human being. Uh, it's hard to know exactly how those changes take place, but I think we're now facing a similar change with the phenomenon of war. And that's why more and more and more veterans are committing suicide. And uh, I think we need to see a change like that with the whole question of violence. Uh, we're accepting violence as normal now is more retrograde and more harmful than accepting it, say, 50 years ago, not to mention back in the early 19th century before World War I. So um, I'd like to lead up uh, to our conversation with another philosopher, a Greek philosopher, Epictetus, who said the beginning of all ignorance is the failure to understand the basic dynamics underneath the particulars of the given case. So bear that in mind, think it over. Tomorrow we're going to apply that directly to the question of violence. So thank you very much and let me remind you of uh, Gandhi's famous statement that uh, those who are interested in nonviolence are invited to join the experiment. <laughs>